Greetings children. Welcome back to the learning of English language. I'm your English teacher Ms. Rachna Chandarana and I'm back with another learning video. In today's video, we are going to study literature. In literature, we are going to cover lesson number 13 that is the wonderful tea kettle. This is the last video for unit 2 from literature side. In literature, we have three lessons that will be covered in unit test 2. The first one is, what color is the creature? The second one is, on the desert? And the third one is, the wonderful tea kettle. Today, we are going to study this chapter which is called the wonderful tea kettle. So, let's go ahead. You will find this lesson on page number 81 of your Real English course book. So I would want you to take out the Real English course book and refer to page number 81 and be ready for the lesson. In today's video, we are going to do reading along with the animation of the story and then I am going to explain the story in simple language for you to understand. So let's go ahead and see the animation of the story along with the reading of the story. Chapter 13 The Wonderful Tea Kettle A long time ago in Japan, there was an old priest who lived in a temple and was very devout. He was also very poor. He cooked his own rice, boiled his own tea, swept his own flow and lived frugally as an honest priest should do. One day the kettle in which he boiled water for his tea broke and he did not know what to do as he had no money to buy a new one. But the next morning, behold, a shiny brass tea kettle was sitting outside his door. The priest was overjoyed. He built a fire in the square fireplace in the middle of the floor. A rope and chain to hold the rice pot and tea kettle hung down from the ceiling. Soon the fire blazed merrily. At the sight of the fireplace on the floor was his tray filled with tiny teacups, a pewter tea caddy, a bamboo tea stirrer and a little dipper. The priest swept the ashes off the edges of the hearth with a little broom made of hawk's feathers. He was just about to put on the tea when Suz Suz sang the shiny tea kettle spout and then Patari Patari said the lid. As it flapped up and down and the kettle swung backwards and forwards. What does this mean? said the old priest with a start. Wonder of wonders! The spout of the kettle had turned into a badger's nose with its big whiskers while from the other side sprouted out a long bushy tail. Oh, ho, ho! Oh, cried the priest. And in terror, he dropped the tea caddy, spilling the green tea all over the matting. Now, four hairy legs appeared under the kettle. The strange thing, half badger and half kettle, jumped off the fire and began running around the room. To the priest's horror, it leapt on a shelf, puffed out its burning belly, and began to beat a tune with its four paws as if it were a drum. The old priest's pupils, hearing the racket, rushed in. After a lively chase, upsetting piles of books and breaking some of the teacups, they caught the badger and squeezed him into a keg used for storing pickled radishes. They fastened down the lid with a heavy stone and felt sure that the strong odor of the radishes would kill the beast. No man could survive such a smell, and a badger certainly couldn't. The next morning, the tinker of the village called in, and the priest told him about his strange visitor. Wishing to show him the animal, he cautiously lifted the lid of the cask. After all, the badger might be still alive, in spite of the strong vinegar pickles. And lo, there was nothing but the shiny brass tea kettle. Fearing that the utensil might play the same prank again, the priest was glad to sell it to the tinker, 
on his part the tinker secretly thought the priest had been dreaming and he gave another kettle in exchange for it and some cash too he carried it proudly to his junk shop though he thought it felt unusually heavy the tinker went to bed as usual that night with his tiny paper shaded lamp just behind his head about midnight hearing a strange noise like the flapping up and down of a pot lid he sat up in bed rubbed his eyes there was the bewitched tea kettle covered with fur and sprouting out legs in short it was turning into a hairy beast don't beat me or shut me in a vinegar keg it said because i am really kind hearted and wish you well what can i do for you asked the tinker feed me a little rice now and then and don't put me on the fire as that stupid priest did look here going over to a corner of the room and taking a fan from the rack the badger climbed up on the frame of the lamp and began to dance on its one hind leg waving the fan with its four paw it played many other tricks until the man started up and then the badger turned into a tea kettle again next morning the delighted tinker hired a professional showman to build a little theater and stage then he ordered an artist to paint scenery with the sacred mountain fujiyama in the background and cranes flying through the air a crimson sun shining through the bamboo a red moon rising over the waves with golden clouds and tortoises and such like then he stretched a tight rope of rice straw across the stage handbills were stuck up in all the barber shops in town and wooden tickets branded with magic tea kettle performance admit one was sold the house was speedily filled the people coming in parties bringing their teapots full of tea and picnic boxes full of rice and eggs and other refreshments because they came to stay all day mothers bought their babies with them the children enjoyed it most of all then the tinker dressed up in colorful clothes with a big fan in his hand came out on the platform he made a polite bow and set the wonderful tea kettle on the stage at a wave of his fan the kettle ran around on four legs half badger and half kettle clanking its lid and wagging its tail how the children shouted next it turned into a badger swelled out its body and beat a tune on it like a drum it danced on the tight rope and walked the slack rope holding a fan or an umbrella in its paw stood on its head and finally at a flourish of its master's fan became a cold brass tea kettle again the audience were wild with delight as the fame of the wonderful tea kettle spread many people came from great distances to see it perform year after year the tinker exhibited the wonder until he grew immensely rich then he retired from the show business and out of gratitude took the old kettle to the temple again and deposited it there as a precious relic the old priest was given a goodly sum of money to do nothing else but take care of it and all his life it had all the food it wanted after his death it turned into an ordinary kettle and has stayed so ever since if you don't believe it you can go to the temple some day and see it for yourself so children wasn't that interesting I'm sure you would have loved the animation. Now, let me read out the story to you along with the explanation in simpler language so that you can understand it better. The name of the lesson is The Wonderful Tea Kettle. It is lesson number 13 in our Real English course book and you will find it on page number 81. A long time ago in Japan, there was an old priest who lived in a temple and was very devout he was also very poor he cooked his own rice boiled his own tea swept his own floor and lived frugally as an honest priest should do so now children this story is about an old priest who lived in japan 
and this priest was very very devout means he was very very religious he was a very religious person he used to pray to god regularly and he lived a very frugal life which means he used to live a life which was very simple he used to live his life very simply very frugally he used to cook his own meal he used to make his own tea he used to sweep the floor himself and he was very very honest one day the kettle in which he boiled water for his tea broke and he did not know what to do as he had no money to buy a new one but the next morning behold a shiny brass tea kettle was sitting outside his door so children one day while this old priest was making tea he was boiling water to make tea it broke and he was very sad because he had no money to buy a new one and he did not know what to do but the next morning behold means in this chapter it means see see there were, he saw that there was a shiny brass tea kettle which was kept outside his door brass is the name of a metal so there was a very shiny and beautiful brass tea kettle which was sitting outside his door the priest was overjoyed he built a fire in the square fireplace in the middle of the floor a rope and chain to hold the rice pot and tea kettle hung down from the ceiling soon the fire blazed merrily at the sight of the fireplace on the floor was his tray filled with tiny tea cups a pewter tea caddy a bamboo tea stirrer and a little dipper the priest swept the ashes of the edges of the hearth so children here when the priest saw the tea kettle he was overjoyed means he was very very happy because he did not have money to buy a new one he was happy that he had got this kettle for free so he built a small fire there was a square fireplace in the middle of the floor in his room so he built the fire over there there a chain was hanging from the ceiling in that chain there was a hook from that hook he used to hang his rice pot or tea kettle and he used to cook his meal or tea in that fire and that chain was used to hang the kettle or the pot if you can see it in the picture here you will notice that the chain is hanging from the top and there is a hook which is attached soon the fire blazed merrily means soon the fire was burning merrily means brightly here it means brightly at the side of the fireplace on the floor there was a tray in the tray if you see in the picture you can notice there are tiny tea cups there are small tea cups and there is a pewter tea caddy pewter is a gray metal tea caddy is a small box in which we keep tea leaves so there was a tea caddy which was made of pewter it was kept in the side and there was a bamboo tea stirrer right and a little dipper dipper means a cup like container if you see it is kept on the floor where the priest is sitting just beside him there is a dipper so then next what the uh, priest does is he sweeps the hearth the edges and removes all the ash that is lying on the floor now let's turn to the next page so the priest swept the ashes of the edges of the hearth with a little broom made of hawk's feathers now he used a broom which was made of hawk's feather hawk is a bird and the feather of the hawk are uh, pretty long and they are very feathery they are very furry so he made a broom out of it and he used that to sweep the floor he was just about to put on the tea when suz suz sang the shiny tea kettle spout and then patari patari said the list lid as it flapped up and down and the kettle swung backwards and forwards now he was just about to hang the tea kettle 
he was just about to put the tea kettle when suz suz came the sound the sound was coming from the spout of the kettle you know what is the spout of the kettle the place from where we pour out the tea and patari patari was the sound which was made by the lid as it flapped up and down so, and suddenly the kettle started swinging backward and forward what does this mean said the old priest with a start wonder of wonders the spout of the kettle had turned into a badger's nose with its big whiskers while from the other side sprouted out a long bushy tail now the priest was very confused because he was thinking what is wrong why is these funny things happening then wonder of wonders he saw that the spout of the kettle had turned into a badger's nose means the place from where we pour, pour out the tea that place that spout had turned into a nose and it was the nose of a badger now a badger is an animal with gray fur and black and white lines on its head it's a small animal which look almost looks like a mongoose if you turn the page to page number 84 you will be able to see the picture of a badger so he suddenly saw that there were whiskers whiskers means the mustaches if you have seen any cat you will be able to see the whiskers they are long mustaches on the face of a cat similarly the badger also has whiskers and from the other side where we are supposed to hold the kettle from from there sprouted a bushy tail ho ho cried the priest and in terror he dropped the key, tea caddy spilling the green tea all over the matting now four hairy legs appeared under the kettle the strange thing half badger half kettle jumped off the fire and began running around the room to the priest's horror it leapt on a shelf puffed out its burning belly and began to beat a tune with its four paws as if it were a drum now children the priest was really amused with whatever was happening so he cried ho ho and in terror he dropped the tea caddy the container of the tea and all the green tea was spilled all over the matting now suddenly four hairy legs they appeared under the kettle and this whole thing was a strange thing because it was half kettle and it was half badger and it jumped off the fire and it began running around the whole room to the priest horror it leapt on a shelf it the priest was really shocked when he saw that this half kettle half badger it jumped and it got on to a shelf and it puffed out it puffed out its burning belly puffed out means stop something from burning by blowing so this the tummy of the badger had started burning because it was kept on fire so it puffed out its burning belly and began to beat a tune with its four paws four paws means the front paws the two hands that the badger had so it stood on its leg and started beating a tune on its tummy to burn out the fire as if it were a drum the old priest's pupil hearing the racket rushed in after a lively chase upsetting piles of books and breaking some of the tea cups they caught the badger and squeezed him into a cage used for storing pickled radishes they fastened down the lid with a heavy stone and felt sure that the strong odor of the radishes would kill the beast no man could survive such a smell and a badger certainly couldn't now hearing all these sounds in the priest's room all his pupils means all his students came into the room and they started chasing the badger they upsetted all the piles of books they were running around here and there they broke so many tea cups and but eventually they caught the badger and they squeezed the badger into a cage now cage is a round wooden container in that cage the priest used to store pickled radish okay 
and the smell of the pickled radish was horrible no man could ever survive in that kind of a smell it was a vinegar smell a very very strong odor which could kill any beast so they had put the badger into the cage thinking that the badger would die with the smell of the vinegar and the smell of the pickled radish the next morning the tinker of the village called in the priest told him about the strange visitor wishing to show him the animal he cautiously lifted the lid of the cask after all the badger might be still alive in spite of the strong vinegar pickles and lo there was nothing but the shiny brass tea kettle so the next day morning the tinker was called the tinker of the village tinker is a person who travels from place to place to repair things he also purchases old things in return of new ones so the tinker was called in and the priest told him about the strange things that had happened with him and he wanted to show him the badger so he slowly and gradually he opened the cover the lid of the uh, cask cask is a wooden barrel and cautiously means with great care he opened the lid thinking that the badger could be still alive so he very cautiously lifted the uh, lid to show the tinker because he thought that maybe the badger is alive and he would jump out of the cask but in spite of the strong vinegar smell he thought that he could be still alive but there was nothing the badger was gone and inside the cask was the shiny brass tea kettle fearing that the utensil might play the same prank again the priest was glad to sell it to the tinker on his part the tinker secretly thought that the priest had been dreaming and he gave another kettle in exchange for it and some cash too he carried it out pre- uh, proudly to his junk shop though he thought it felt unusually heavy now the tinker took away the kettle and in return of the kettle he gave him another kettle and gave him some cash and the tinker was happy because it was a brass kettle and brass is an expensive metal so he took it away and in his mind he was thinking that the priest must have had a dream and all this is a fake story he did not believe the story but he carried the brass tea kettle very happily to his junk shop although he thought that it was unusually heavy usually a brass tea kettle would not be so heavy as the one he was carrying but anyways he was very happy to carry the brass tea kettle to his junk shop the tinker went to bed as usual and that night with his tiny paper shaded lamp just behind his head so the tinker went home and then he went to bed the usual time he did every day and behind his head there was a tiny paper shaded lamp about midnight hearing a strange noise like the flapping up and down of a pot lid he sat up in bed rubbed his eyes there was the bewitched tea kettle covered with fur and sprouting out legs in short it was turning into a hairy beast so children in the middle of the night when the tinker was sleeping he could hear some noise which was disturbing his sleep so he got up on his bed and he was started rubbing his eyes there he saw that the bewitched tea kettle bewitched means having a magic spell so that magical tea kettle was covered with fur and the legs were coming out from beneath in short it was turning into a hairy beast it was looking like a beast and this man was really puzzled to see all this he was actually amazed and shocked don't beat me or shut me in a vinegar cage it said because i am really kind hearted and wish you well so the badger started speaking suddenly and it told the tinker do not beat me or do not put me in that vinegar you know that cask the cage because i am really kind hearted and i am your well wisher what can i do for you asked the tinker feed me a little rice now and then and don't put me on fire as that stupid priest did look here so the badger tells him that please you don't have to do anything for me you just feed me a little bit of rice every now and then and please do not put me on fire like that stupid priest had done 
and then he said look here going over to a corner of the room and taking a fan from the rack the badger climbed up on the frame of the lamp and began to dance on it on its one hind leg waving the fan with its four paw it played many other tricks until the man started up and then the badger turned into a tea kettle again so then when the badger tells him to look here means he started showing him a few tricks he got a fan from the rack and then he went to the corner of the room he climbed up the frame of the lamp and he began to dance on his hind leg hind leg means the back side leg and he started waving the fan with its four paws four paws means the front side paws the front legs and he started playing many other tricks until the man got tired and then the badger turned into a tea kettle again next morning the delighted tinker hired a professional showman to build a little theater and stage so children actually the tinker were very very happy although he was shocked but he was very happy to receive this badger which was a kettle also and a badger also it was actually a magical tea kettle which could turn into a badger so he was very very delighted he means he was very very happy so he hired a professional showman a showman is a man who performs for people's entertainment so he hired a showman and he wanted to build a theater and a stage then he ordered an artist to paint scenery with the sacred mountain fujiyama in the background and cranes flying through the air a crimson sun shining through up the bamboo a red moon rising over the waves with golden clouds and tortoises and such like so he ordered a painter also to paint the scenery of mount fujiyama in the background he built up a whole stage a whole theater to set up a show for the badger and then he ordered the painter to paint the scenery on the background in the background uh, you know the painter painted mount fujiyama then it uh, he painted uh, cranes flying and then he painted the moon and the sun and the waves and golden clouds and such like things to make the stage look very beautiful and attractive then he stretched a tight rope of rice straw across the stage handbills were stuck up in all the barbers shop in town and wooden tickets branded with magic tea kettle performance admit one were sold so then he stretched a tight rope of rice straw over the stage so that the badger could perform on it it could walk on that rope and people would get amused handbills you know handbills are printed advertisements which are given by hand they are small pamphlets if you have seen many a times we get these kind of pamphlets for advertisement on the roads so these kind of handbills were stuck up on the barber's shop all the barber's shop i i hope you all know what barber's shop mean so in all the salons all the barber's shop these handbills were stuck all across the town and wooden tickets in those times there were wooden tickets so these wooden tickets were sold and in those tickets it was written magic tea kettle performance admit one means it was one ticket was for one person and on top of the ticket it was written magic tea kettle performance the house was speedily filled the people coming in parties bringing their teapots full of tea and picnic boxes full of rice and eggs and other refreshments because they came to stay all day mothers brought their babies with them the children enjoyed it most of all now uh, since the advertising was done so well all pe all the people from all across you know they started coming for the show the house was getting filled speedily very very fast the seats were getting full and people were coming in parties means they were coming in big groups they would bring their teapots they would bring uh, their picnic boxes they would get rice egg and all other refreshments refreshments are small amount of foods and drink served to people during a public event so they used to get these refreshments because they had all come to stay for the whole day and mothers would bring their babies along with them because they would want to spend the whole day at the magic kettle show the children enjoyed it the most because it was very you know fascinating for the children it was a magical kettle which could turn into a badger so all the children would enjoy this performance very much then the tinker dressed up in colorful clothes with a big fan in his hand came out on the platform 
he made a polite bow and set the wonderful tea kettle on the stage at a wave of his fan the kettle ran around on four legs half badger and half kettle clanking its lid and wagging off its tail so then the tinker he would come like you know all dressed up in those majestic and colorful clothes if you have seen magicians perform on stage that is how they dress up so this tinker also dressed up in those colorful clothes and he would come up on the stage on the platform and then he would bring the kettle and then with a wave of his fan he would make a polite bow first and then wave his fan and then the kettle badger half badger and half kettle would run around the stage clanking clanking means sounding like pieces of metal hitting each other so it would clank its lid and wag its tail and children would shout because they would be very very excited next it turned into a badger swelled out its body and beat a tune on it like a drum it danced on a tight rope and walked a slack rope holding a fan or an umbrella in its paws stood on its head and finally at a flourish of its master's fan became a cold brass tea kettle again now children after running around on the stage the kettle badger would swell out its body it would turn into a badger and it would swell out its body and it would beat a tune on its tummy like it were a drum it danced on the tight rope remember there was a tight rope which was uh, spread across the stage so it would uh, dance on that tight rope and it would walk on the slack rope slack means the loose rope with a fan or an umbrella in its hand and then it would it stood on its head finally after a flourish of the master's fan in the end of the show the master that is the tinker would flourish its fan and it would turn into a cold brass kettle once again the audience were wild with delight as the fame of the wonderful tea kettle spread many people came from great distances to see it perform so children after the performance was over the audience that is the people who saw the show would go wild with delight means they would get very very amused they would get very very happy to see the performance because they had never seen anything like this before and as the show became famous people from all over japan from far away distant places started to come and see the performance of the badger year after year the tinker exhibited the wonder until he grew immensely rich then he retired from the show business and out of gratitude took the old kettle to the temple again and deposited it there as a precious relic so children for many many years the tinker went on showing his performance on stage with the kettle badger and then he became very very rich immensely means he became very rich and then he decided to retire from the show business so he decided that he will take the kettle and as a gratitude means to thank the priest who had given him the kettle he went once again went to the temple and he deposited deposited means put it in a safe place he deposited it there in the temple as a precious relic relic is an old object worth keeping it's like an antique so as an antique he deposited in the temple the old priest was given a goodly sum of money to do nothing else but take care of it and all his life it had all the food it wanted after his death it turned into an ordinary kettle and has stayed so ever since if you don't believe it you can go to the temple some day and see it for yourself now children the tinker gave a goodly sum means a good sum of money a very large amount of money to the priest to take care of the kettle it was supposed to feed it till the time it was alive and after the badger was dead it turned into a ordinary tea kettle and the writer says that if you don't believe the story you can go to the temple some day yourself and see it so children this is a story by william e griffiths i hope the explanation has made it easier for you to understand the story
With this, we come to the end of today's learning video. I hope the explanation of the story has made it easier for you to understand the story. I will see you again tomorrow with the new words and the word bank of this lesson. Thank you very much for watching today's learning video. I want you to stay at home, stay safe with your family and keep learning. This is me your English teacher Ms. Rachna Chandarana signing off for today. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.